Do you panic when it's time to set pricing for your speaking engagements? Well, don't fret. I've developed a simple framework that you can implement so that you know exactly what to charge for your speaking each time. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Summer Alexander from SummerAlexanderResearch.com and welcome to this week's edition of Simply Marketing. Now in my business, I work with entrepreneurs to help them develop marketing strategies and put together strategic marketing plans so that they can grow their businesses. And one of the strategies that I teach all the time is speaking. Speaking is such a powerful marketing strategy for your small business. But what I found is the entrepreneurs that I've worked with tell me over and over again that they panic when it comes to knowing how much to charge for their actual speaking engagements. So I've developed a simple framework that you can implement each time you're determining what to charge for a speaking engagement. So that framework is called the pay me system. It's actually the words pay me. Let's walk through it. The P is for problem. And this is the problem that you're solving for your client. What is that urgent need, want, or desire your client is currently dealing with? And what solution does your company provide for it? Now, the more urgent that problem is, the bigger that problem is, the more you can charge for your solution. So that's something to definitely consider when you're trying to figure out how much to charge. The A in the pay me framework actually stands for an account analysis. And what that means is you need to think about your accounts, like your bank accounts, and how much you wanna see go into it every month. And that's not just some arbitrary number that you can pull out of the sky. When you're setting pricing in your business, it really has to incorporate a few things. One of the things you wanna think about are your business expenses and how much and fixed and variable expenses you have to put out each month to run and operate your business. You also need to think about your personal expenses and what personal liabilities and obligations do you currently have? Are you paying for uh, credit cards, student loans, life insurance? Think about what all of those numbers are. You also wanna account for your savings goals and what money you wanna invest, maybe you wanna purchase property, maybe you wanna retire on an island someday, all of that has to be considered. You also wanna think about your family obligations. How much money do you need to contribute to your overall household on a daily, monthly, yearly basis? That needs to be considered when you're determining how much you need to make with your business and for your speaking engagements. So all of that goes into that account analysis. You've got to know your numbers because if you're saying, okay, well, I'll just charge $250 for a speaking engagement, but you've got $2,500 worth of expenses that month, then you're not really doing yourself any favor. So make sure you know your numbers and that comes in the account analysis step that you figure that out. And so the why in the pay me system is the yield, and that is thinking of the outcome, the transformation that you provide for your clients. So we talked about knowing and understanding what that urgent problem, need, want, or desire is, but you also need to understand the outcome and what the transformation looks like when they get to the other side of that problem and what impact and value that will have in their life or their business whatever it is that you're helping them with through your company. That needs to be considered. That transformation is so key and people will pay for that transformation and for you walking them through or helping them with or providing a product that helps them to make that transformation. The M in the pay me system stands for the marketplace and that is where you're actually speaking. So are you gonna be speaking for a large corporation? Because you can charge a little bit more for that. Are you gonna be speaking for a nonprofit organization? Are you gonna be speaking maybe for a church? Well, your fees might be a little lower considering the organization or the type of entity that you're actually gonna be speaking for. The E in the pay me system stands for experience. And that's the experience that you're bringing to your clients. And that can be your educational experience, that could be your work history or experience. That could be your life experience. Do you have any kind of certifications? Are you in a specialty industry? 
all of that needs to be considered when you're setting pricing because there is a value that is placed on the experience that you bring to that client. So thinking of all of these factors within the pay me system should help you start to see that charging a couple hundred dollars for a speaking engagement is not really helping you in your business and ultimately it's not going to help your client. Now there are a few other considerations that I want you to think about when you're setting pricing in your business. One of the things you want to think about is when is it okay to speak for free? Now, don't panic. I'm not a big proponent of doing anything within your business for free because after all, this is a business, not a hobby we're running. But when it comes to speaking, there are instances when it makes sense to speak for free. So you really want to think about the organization that you're going to be speaking for and if they're going to be able to draw a good number of your ideal clients. If you're going to be speaking for an organization that's going to have you in front of a room full of 500 of your ideal clients, but they don't have a speaker budget, it still could make a lot of sense for you to get on that stage because once you give them your compelling message, just think about how many of those audience members will actually become clients in your business and you'll end up getting some revenue for that anyway. Again, I don't suggest you make it an ongoing practice to not charge anything for your speaking, but you want to really give a holistic look at the organization, at the event, the conference, the meeting that you're going to be speaking for, and there are instances when it makes sense. Let's say maybe you're just starting out with speaking and you're still a little nervous, you haven't really tested out your presentation on the audience, well then it might make sense to go ahead and speak for free so that you can kind of flesh out your speaking engagement and really get a good good stronghold on what your presentation needs to be for that particular audience. Another thing you need to consider are travel and accommodations. If you're going to be traveling let's say more than 50 miles for a speaking engagement or if someone wants you to come into another state even to speak you need to consider your travel, your lodging, any meals that you might need while you're there. All of that needs to be accounted for in your speaking. Now something else that you need to consider with the speaking is any kind of customizations that you need to provide. So if you're going to have to put together some custom handouts, if you're going to put together some custom presentation slides, or even if you're going to have to spend a bunch of time back and forth having meetings with the event planners so that you can develop these custom presentations and handouts, all of that time needs to be accounted for. I mean, let's think about it. Let's say you're going to do a 60 minute presentation and you decide you're going to charge $500 for it. But let's say it takes you 19 hours to put that presentation together with the research that you have to do and the customizations that you have to do and maybe there's a couple of hours travel time in there that you have to account for. And then let's say you still got the 60 minutes that you have to actually give the presentation. So that's a total of 20 hours for you to put the presentation together and travel to the meeting space and give the presentation. And you're charging $500. Well, you've essentially made $25 an hour. Is that really worth it? Is that going to help you to account for those things that were in that account analysis steps? Is that going to help you to move forward with your savings goals, with any charities you like to donate to, or heck, even if you just like to shop every month, that's absolutely okay. So just think about the financial obligations and goals that you have within your business and the transformation that you're providing for your client. And think about with all of that being said, is $25 an hour really enough for that speaking engagement? Probably not. So I want you to actually take some time and write out all of the things we talked about in the Pay Me Framework. So that's the problem that you're solving. That's the account analysis, which includes all of your financial obligations and goals. That's the yield, which is the outcome or transformation that you're providing for the client. And really think about what it looks like for your client if they don't solve that problem, if they don't get the solution that you provide and how that can make a small problem an even bigger problem. You need to think about the marketplace, which is the M in our Pay Me framework, and that's just the type of organization that you're speaking for. A corporation may have millions and millions of dollars set aside each year for speakers like you, so you want to make sure that you're charging accordingly. And finally, you need to look at that E, which is the experience that you bring to your target audience, your target client, 
that's your education background, that's your work and life experience, and that's the experience that you have providing this outcome or transformation for other clients. All of that needs to be considered when you're setting pricing in your business. All right, so you're tasked with your assignment of actually getting a pen and paper and going through this pay me framework and jotting down all of the components that need to go into you pricing for your speaking engagements. If you need additional assistance with this, I've developed a free training called How to Overcome the Five Obstacles of Growing Your Business with Speaking. And you can register for that free training at www.speakuptraining.info. It's available for you right now. Thank you so much for tuning in to this week's edition of Simply Marketing, and I'll see you next week. Business blessings.